So here we are folks. Once again, just showing the example of serious programs that are damaging the health of every single human on planet Earth. Because this artificial weather, this man-made cloud program called solar geoengineering or SRM, solar management radiation, or solar radiation management, or also called uh, basically chemtrails, is causing serious health effects to every single planet person on the planet. It's killing all the trees, entire forests are dying, and killing all the animals. What, what is it that's causing the bees to die? So many different animals being affected. It's the psychopaths, the lunatics, that are running this solar geoengineering program. So here we are once again, Tucson, Arizona, being completely inundated with these dumps of particulates, of nanoparticulates, of metals, toxic metals, into our atmosphere. You can't avoid them. They're in your food, they're in your air, they're in your water, and you can't avoid them. They're everywhere. Nanoparticulates, especially of metals, this would be like the worst nightmare for humans because if that were the case, which it is, they would walk right through your blood barrier. They would literally walk through your skin. They would get inside you and pass your blood barrier to your brain. And gee, let me see, uh, anybody got this effect going on uh, where you're getting short-term memory basically wiped out? You forget all kinds of things that you just supposed to just remember? Yeah, I understand because it's happening to me too. So nobody could possibly be claiming that this this here is natural clouds. Not if they're just unless a fucking complete idiot or think we're that stupid that this is the way we're gonna go. But hey, you know what? You don't see people in the streets, you don't see people in downtown in the areas just standing in the streets, blocking the buildings to say, God damn it, you need to stop this. No, you don't see any of that because you know what? What it's doing to you, what it's doing to everyone is quite effective. Between that, poisoning the water with fluoride, GMOs, it's all the things they're doing to us, it's quite effective. So people, no, nah, they're not standing up. At this point, even the ones just remaining in denial about the spraying going on, uh, yeah, you can't get me to believe for just one minute that they don't understand something's going on. You know, the ones that go, well, maybe, but what, what can we do about it? Well, you must be a complete idiot or not human to think that we can't do anything about it. So many things we've done things about in the past, much bigger than this. And you still have the nerve to tell me we can't do anything about this? But you know what? I can say one thing. We haven't. We haven't done anything. We've done nothing to stop this. Why? We've tried. Some of us have tried like hell. Tried real hard. I took it on myself to inform the occupants of a mere one million people that live in my city. I said, yeah, took it upon myself. Let them all know what's going on, these crimes being committed against us. And what happened? Well, I did, yes, woke up a bunch of people. Lots of people have come to me and said that I'm the one that woke them up to this. But you know what? Take a look at the skies. 2018, are we got it stopped? Hell no. Not in any way, shape, or form have we got it stopped. Look at it. And you've been here. I've been on public views here, YouTube, complaining about this since 2007. Great people like the Carnicom Institute uh, have been at it longer than I have. But what have we got done? Nothing. Because you people need to stand up all at once now, not later. 
Oh yeah, that'll help. When we're dead, we'll all stand up. Oh, well, uh, there's only three of us. So everyone else is dead. That's right. That's the way that would go. So anyway, yeah, let's just sit around and think about it for a minute. Let's just talk a little bit about it. Whatever. Fucking people need to wake up. Yeah, go, go and blow the damn planes up that are fucking killing us. Whatever it takes to get this stopped, it needs to happen. Okay, I wouldn't really suggest to blowing up a plane, but we should have a ton more things we could possibly do to get it stopped before we have to do anything like that. But yeah, send the damn Air Force, Army, Navy, Marines, get it stopped, whatever it takes. The right person would get it stopped in a couple hours. Of course, they'd be uh, in trouble because they took their F-16 and did some shit that probably ain't legal. Whatever it takes it needs to be done. Okay? Here we are. Real News Tucson reporter, Chris Haskell. Working here for the community. Working for the people. For no pay. Have a good day.